I think the moment I sat in that racing chair, I just, I don't know, I just, I knew it was for me. It was something like I never felt before. Freedom and that I could go really fast. I it was so in the zone. I didn't really care about anything else. Nothing was wrong in the world. It just felt endless, you know? I could just go forever. I train 120 miles per week. Our training is almost identical to an able bodied runner. Watch this. People believe that walking on my hands for the first six years built the muscle mass in my arms and my back. <laughs> I remember in the beginning of the school year, we're supposed to write down academic goals. My last goal I wrote down was going to be in the Olympics in Athens in 2004. thought I would make the team. No one thought I would medal. <laughs> when I came back from the games, people didn't really know that the Paralympics happened. I wanted to, to join the high school track team, but I didn't have the right to run alongside of other runners when I was the only female wheelchair racer out there. I didn't understand why I was being discriminated against. Even coaches that I should, I have a club of my own kind and that I really don't belong here. It was hurtful. And I thought, okay, we're gonna fight this. So we sued for, for no damages, so no money. We sued for the right for people with disabilities to participate in high school sports. Disabilities are now being granted equal access to school sports programs. That mandate comes from the Obama administration. I could run alongside of, of the runners. For the first time in history, students with disabilities will now be included on sports teams at their local school. It was a hard thing to go through, but the law became federal, called the Sports and Fitness Equity Law. Some people call it Tatiana's Law. 